7.30 a.m. Brewer, Maine. Joey Kelly, owner of the Bangor and Aroostook 62 motor car you see here on the trailer. All loaded and almost ready to depart. Uh, got the auxiliary baggage carrying box on the back. Ramps, straps, batteries are charged. Rented truck is ready to haul. It's going to be a good day. We are headed uh, to Nashua, New Hampshire tonight to stay at a friend's house to go ride with a Cotton Valley Rail Trail Club excursion tomorrow morning, Sunday, uh, August 6th. So, this is the before leaving requisite truck, trailer, and speeder shot. Well, hello folks. We are southbound on Interstate I-95, headed for New Hampshire. Uh, I'm getting passed by, seems like, endless streams of traffic because, quite frankly, with a rented vehicle and a motor car on behind, which you can see clearly behind me, yeah, I'm not inclined to go any faster than I absolutely have to. Uh, I've little confession to make. I have owned this motor car since 2004, got it operational in 2014, but I have never actually towed it anywhere. Um, I've done pretty much all of my motor car runs with the assistance of my father, uh, who's always been the one with the truck, the trailer, and doing the towing. So I've rented a truck, I've borrowed one of his trailers, and uh, this is my first solo-ish uh, motor car run, and the first time this thing has been outside the state of Maine since I've owned it. Um, so this is a new experience for me. I've done a little bit of towing here and there, but never my own motor car and never for any distance. So I'm discovering that a Toyota Tacoma is a wonderful truck to drive, uh, but even the V6 model is slightly anemic. Uh, when you've got uh, almost 2,000 pounds of motor car, trailer, and uh, probably a little bit more than that when you figure all the gear I'm lugging out along too, uh, combined with the wind resistance of what is essentially a flat paneled uh, front vehicle, uh, just basically stopping the wind almost. Um, yeah, so it's uh, it's slightly slightly less powerful than, than one might hope. So I think if I was going to do this on a regular basis, I would probably be picking up um, a half-ton uh, full-size pickup. Um, but that's me. Your mileage may vary, to coin a phrase. I know we've got one guy out here in the hobby that tows his uh, speeder with a Corvette. Uh, I'm sure it's got the power for it. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get back to driving and... Uh, check in as I get closer to my destination. Railroad is a all-speeder powered railroad. It uh, runs from a former Boston and Maine station, about three miles up uh, state of New Hampshire owned trackage. They use custom built push carts and large Fairmonts, A4s, A6s, A8s, to push them. Shown here is the uh, renamed Silver Lake Station. This is one of their large speeders. It has been repainted to resemble a main central locomotive. You'll note both air horns, a whistle, and a bell. They definitely can get your attention when they need to. In addition to riding the speeder-powered trains, 
There are other things to see on site, including the original station building and this restored 1941 diner, all on site and available. The railroad runs on donations and is staffed by largely volunteers. from Greenfield, New Hampshire. Sunday, August 6th. Bangor and Aroostook 62 has survived the trip down. Rented truck is here and we are third in the line for unloading, which is the advantage of getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning. So, oh, the trip has officially begun. Well, there we are, folks. Bangor and Aroostook 62. We are loaded and ready to go. The external luggage rack with the cooler is all tied down. And by happenstance, we happen to have Jason here with his Bangor and Aroostook M14 car uh, kicking around. So we've got the all Bangor and Aroostook contingent here for two cars. And this is going to be a fun trip. of the day. Greenfield Historical Society, right here in Greenfield, New Hampshire, graciously opening their doors for us. And the group is slowly accumulating back to their respective cars, and we will be underway shortly. of this day's excursion. A variety of us with uh, non-turntable cars have already turned ours back down to this point. Got people uh, mulling around and whatnot. And 
It's actually kind of a cool process if you've never seen it. A lot of people put down stabilizing blocks underneath the track in order to get a firm surface. Then they hydraulically lower a turntable down onto the track and uh, raise the car up, turn it 180 degrees, and then lower it back down. Everyone is turned. We'll be headed back north. Greenfield. The Greenfield Historical Society put on a barbecue for us and eating, socializing and whatnot. There's the high rail that's been leading the procession. And then we've got Bangor and Rooster Car. <laughs> My Bangor and Rooster Car. And a whole host of others. Been a great trip so far. Really enjoying this. Yep, and now I'm well fed too. <laughs> Cosgrove, who's uh, running the camera for me. Hi there. Uh, yep. Uh, you, by now, if you've been watching this video, you've seen a whole bunch of still photos credited. Thank you, Matt Cosgrove, or something to that effect. Well, that, uh, by goodness, is uh, one of our other motor car folks going the other way. Uh, anyway, uh, he's been taking still photos the whole day. We've enjoyed ourselves immensely running around on the Milford and Bennington. I have had a great time. Um, the weekend overall has been a success. A um, couple of minor glitches here and there, but you know, glitches are what life is. So here we go. Um, honestly, it, this has been just great. And now headed back. Uh, the only part of the, the thing that I'm really not looking forward to is the drive back tonight because I have to be to work tomorrow morning. So, oh well, that's just the rub. Anyway, uh, 
thanks for coming along with us on this ride. And we'll be sure you get a lot of still pictures. I want to thank uh, the Milford and Bennington, specifically Peter, um, who helped uh, put this ride on. I want to thank all of my fellow members in the Cotton Valley Rail Trail Club uh, for everything that they did to organize this ride. Uh, everyone involved. We had a great crew of people out there flagging crossings for us so we didn't have to stop. Um, it was a great day. I want to thank the Greenfield Historical Society, Greenfield, New Hampshire, for putting on a great barbecue for us. I mean, I want to thank everybody. Most of all, I want to thank Matt and Jess uh, who, for putting me up overnight and letting me, uh, well, frankly, cuddle with their dog on the couch. It was very therapeutic. Uh, anyway, so thanks, folks. We'll be watching this YouTube channel for further uh, videos on the railroad subjects. And uh, thanks very much for watching.